All right, hello and welcome everyone to this episode of the Forza Motorsport Ooh, 6 car comparison. Today we are doing B-Class uh, sports cars. Same so we have a 2011 Cadillac CTSV, which is what I'm in. We have a BMW M4, uh, which Evan's in. So say hi, Evan. Hello. Then we got Tanner, Hello. who's in the Lexus RCF. Say hi, Tanner. Hi. All right, so we have America versus Europe versus Japan, and we are on Circuit de Catalunya, the Grand Prix circuit. We got the VTEC, though. You're a division of Toyota. You don't have VTEC. Got two JZ power, though. Right. Huh? Right. That thing is basically the new Supra. Basically the new Supra. No. I'm gonna get so no, much not. hate for I'm saying that. So much hate for saying that. No, no, it's not. It's not. You're it's right. The replacement it's for the better. ISF. What? Replacement for the ISF and a coupe version. It is a Cadillac. Cadillac. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wish we had this car in Forza Horizon 2. Hey, maybe Forza Horizon 3. Hunter 10? Wait, wait, much, much. Better than the Corvettes, like, 
Okay, to say the Ferrari hasn't changed, they changed just as much as the Corvette's made. Uh, basically nothing. Well, Corvette's probably upgraded their engine, which Ferrari does, and slightly changes their aero and looks, which Corvette does, as well as Ferrari. Yeah, they pretty much same, change the same amount. Which is not much. I just prefer four Ferraris. A lot of people like compare the 458 to the Corvette. I think that's not even fair. Not the same. No, they really aren't. Compared to like the 599, the Ferrari, you'll see the difference. It's kind of hard to compare it to Lamborghinis now, just because they're all wheel drive. It's just like Echo. I used to like them. I like the original Gallardo. And then after I like that, the Diablo and the Countach. Those are the last Don't ones block me. Good. You hit me. Yeah, because you got in front of me. I was sending a message. I'm allowed to block once. Well, okay. Good point. Still. I'm allowed to get in the way once and then when I do a second time. Is that how racing rules go? Yep. God damn, this thing's got fucking body rolling in the of it. Feeling fine, and then all of a sudden it'll just like fucking roll over and like play dead. The engine's so complex. It has no fucking RPM range. I feel like the LFA at all. The LFA. I hear Jeremy Clarkson was disappointed with it. That explains a lot. Very he likes, I you generally like. His opinion on Porsches. What are his Thanks. opinions on Porsches? The old and useless. I agree. Yep. Overrated. Yep. Again, Ferrari's the exact same way. So. Yeah. Rules over a Ferrari. They all drew over a Ferrari. I make it so. I think they're just a status symbol. That's one thing they've always had is a status. You know, you own a Ferrari like you're someone. Made it to the top. Oh my god. Crap a Ferrari. You could own a Ferrari if you're like freaking save up. I mean, one day I I won a 458, but and that's my my goal is to see what for a 458 or something, or any or Ferrari that comes along that I like better. So, so for a uh, speciale or for a I don't like the speciale, so you know. Hey, it's not GTO. No, it would mean it was special, and it's not special. It's just. Anyway, this turned into a talk about Ferraris, and slightly more yeah, power. by the way, Lexus sucks! Okay. Hey, the LFA's good. Cadillac is awesome. Uh, that was close between the Beamer. Beamer wins. Another car comparison. Down the... Down the hatch, I, I guess. Beamer. I never anyway, win these. I never win these. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, and Like, comment. always good, fuck! <laughs> and cheer. Oh, shit.